He's coming down. Not all that gracefully. <laughs> Before I actually see the panda, I might start thinking, well, maybe it's true that this makes people, when they think China, think, oh, cute panda, rather than think about the plight of the Uyghurs in Xinjiang. But when I actually go and see the panda, all I can think is, this is a happy, adorable creature. He's so, like, chilled out. <laughs> I think focusing exclusively on what's called panda diplomacy, basically how pandas can help China exercise soft power and maybe cover for human rights abuses with the cute and cuddly face, is a bit of a distraction from, first, the issue of conservation. This is good for pandas. Also, these pandas are joyful creatures. I think that turning everything into a geopolitical issue misses that.